Hey guys, welcome back. Today on Real Reviews, we're here with the JBL Party Box 310. And you really responded well and seem to have liked my comparison of the JBL Party Box 310 with the CK99 from LG along with the Sony XB5. So I wanted to come back and do a little bit more in depth review on this JBL Party Box 310 because it is a really cool speaker and a lot of you guys really like it. So um, first, I'm just going to run down some of the specs here. So let's see, it has a lithium polymer battery it's not lithium ion it's lithium polymer what's the difference i really don't know um it has 18 hour battery life on only three hours of charge time and that's playing it at up to three quarters of the volume so that's really good 38.4 pounds uh 240 watts it is rated ipx4 for waterproof so it's not you can't fully submerge it but you can splash it and it can also get rained on so that's pretty cool and um, it has 6.5 inch woofers and 2.5 inch tweeters. So that's it for that paper. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and um, just get a measurement here. Let's see how big this bad boy is. So we're talking, it is about 27 inches tall. It is roughly 13 inches deep and approximately 11 inches or so wide. So that is the dimensions of the speaker. So you wanna come around over here. We'll go ahead and take a look at some of the buttons that are on this because I like buttons, 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 buttons. So we have a volume button. Uh, we have, this is a pause and play button for your music. So when you're actually playing a song, you can actually pause it or play it from right here. So you have a, you have a bass boost right here. The bass boost, if you press it one time, it's gonna be deep bass. You press it two times, it's gonna be punchy bass. Um, what else do we have here? These dials right here, these are only for um, controlling when you're using your microphone or probably, I guess if you plug in electric guitar and I'll show you right here in the back. And then we also have some party sounds right here. Uh, this right here just switches it Bluetooth, USB auxiliary. We have a light button that actually only controls the lights on the speakers being on or off. These lights, they just go on if it's dark. So if it's dark, these lights are gonna be on and there's no way to turn them off. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And then right here we have the battery indicator level and we also have the Bluetooth indicator. If we flip the speaker around to the back, we can see right here, there's a little port that you can open up for waterproofing. And here we have some gain controls. This is microphone one, microphone two. Here's the gains, here's the volumes and the gains for these two. Um, right here, you can actually switch this over to guitar. Now, I don't know if that has any type of built-in guitar amp or not. Not 100% sure on that. Um, but you can actually hook up an electric guitar to it. We have a USB port right here, so you can actually hook in a USB device and play your songs directly from the USB. We have this uh, TWS button, which allows you to daisy chain this speaker to another one of the same type. You have an aux in port for 3.5 millimeters. We have a 12 volt cable you can use if you wanna plug it into your car. And then we have in and out daisy chain ports here if you wanna connect these speakers together using a cable. So that's pretty much what we have on the back. Um, we also do have a port and we have the power plug here at the bottom. Now, one other thing that's noticeable to mention is we have wheels on the speaker. This is something that's very um, special about this particular speaker because it has a little like lever here, a little handle here, like a suitcase. You can pull it out and you can roll it around if you want to take the speaker with you wherever. Now, one other thing, well, that's right. And, and just to mention, don't break this thing. There's a button on the bottom. You want to push it in. Got to push it in correctly so you can put the lever down or else you will break the lever. And it's kind of like push in like that so it can go ahead and see. Now on the sides here, it does have these little pads so you can lay it on either side. Both sides have these pads on it where you can lay it down. And that's pretty much it for what the speaker actually has on it. It's definitely a cool speaker. Let me go ahead and uh, see what is on the bottom here. Let's take a look at the bottom. So bottom, it has a handle like right there. So we wanted to pick it up. I don't know if I'm picking it up right here. I guess probably the correct way to pick the speaker up would probably be like this. So that'll probably be the way. And you also have some pads on the foot. And at the absolute bottom, if I can get to this or not, pads have come off, just pops off. There we go. So on the absolute bottom, you actually have a little screw down here where you can put this on like a, like a karaoke type stand, like one of those speaker stands. You wanna stand it up in the air. And this just kind of just pops in here. It has three little holes. Kind of get it into little holes and pop it in, put it back into place. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much everything on the speaker. So now we're going to do, show you a couple of things here. 
I'm going to first go ahead and turn it on. There's a power button. You got to wait a second, and then it's going to kick in. Ta-da! There's the lights. I always get impatient. I'm wondering if it's ever going to turn on. Today, we're going to use it without the plug. We're just going to use it on the battery. First thing I want to go ahead and show you is the microphone, because it's pretty cool. Go ahead and take it here, around here to the back and plug it in to the first mic port. There we go. And we'll turn it on. Here we go. Here's the microphone. Sounds pretty cool, nice and crisp and clear. You could DJ a party. You can throw a wedding. I don't know. You can start your own church if you want to. But if you want to do that, you're going to have to go ahead and put this up onto the echo level. There you go. Everybody, please donate. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So um, there you go. There's, there's the microphone. You can control bass, treble, and also the echo. So minimum and maximum on those. You can see these buttons light up when you have the microphone plugged in. You can go ahead and unplug it. And then those buttons, they, um, they go ahead and go dim. Put the microphone over to the side. Now, um, one thing we are going to need is we are going to need some music here. And actually, you know what? Let me show you something else. If you're doing some parties right here, we do have three party buttons. So these make some party sounds. There we go. Thank you very much. And that's like you're a DJ. You're trying to be a DJ. Press that button. Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary. So auxiliary, that's like 3.5. Obviously, USB, if you got a USB plugged in. And if you're actually streaming from, you know, to a Bluetooth or from a Bluetooth device to the speaker, you're going to have it on Bluetooth there. So now we're going to go ahead and get a song queued up and then we're going to play this. We're going to jam it out a little bit. We're going to see what you could get three quarters of the volume, what that actually sounds like. If you're on battery and you're planning on, you know, throwing a party for 18 hours straight, what will it sound like at three quarters volume? So just give it a second here. We'll be right back with a song. OK, guys, so there is a JBL Party Box 310 app here that you can get from the Play Store and probably also on iOS. Um, and it has a lot of different features in here. I'm really not going to go through the app, but you can control the lighting. You can pick colors. You can do bass boost. You can, you know, select Bluetooth, USB, whatever you want. All sorts of things here. DJ sounds, karaoke effect, tons of stuff. So I suggest if you have this speaker, go ahead and get a hold of the app and go through it and see what all it could do. Okay, guys, so now we're going to go ahead and try it out. We're going to crank this up. We'll probably try it at 25%. We'll do 50%, 75%. And I don't know if we're going to go further than that, but we'll see how it goes. I have my helper over here put some lighting effects on for you guys to show you what the different lights are. There you go. We have uh, different colors there. What else can the lights do? There we go. So they can fade. They can, cir they can circulate. They can do some type of eight pattern. What about the strobes? But there we go. That's pretty cool. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and get a song on here. We're going to try it out and see what it sounds like. Let's start off at, um, let's get up to 25% volume. We'll do, um, okay, we have it right at 25% volume right now. And this song is going to be Vampire. This JBL 310 Party Box speaker is so cool, they even have it in the movie Shazam. All right, guys, so that was the JBL Party Box 310. This is a portable Bluetooth speaker that's actually battery powered, which is crazy for that type of sound that you can get out of this thing. Unbelievable, and you can even have it in the rain. I mean, it's just unbeatable. 500 bucks is a lot of money. Got to admit, that's how much it goes for. Anywhere between 350 to 500 I have to say. If you get really, really, really lucky, you might be able to get it on a sale for somewhere around 350 And if you're getting it any normal time, it's probably going to be more like 499 for the speaker. But I say it's worth it. 
and um, you guys are really going to enjoy it. So JBL Party Box 310, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you never miss another video on Real Reviews. See you guys next time.